Hello, my delicious co-creators. Lilu here. This is part two of a conversation. We just had one on sexual healing, liberating the the sexual energy and having the chi flow. And this was a delicious interview. We had done one two years ago and now we just did another one. Very, very interesting and must-see video. This one, maybe not as sexy in the terms of what it refers to, but we're going to speak of constipation. Yes. Because this is a huge problem that you encounter many times. Uh, actually, it is. And, and just to give you a little bit of... Uh, sexual spice uh, many times my clients or my students uh, the, the women they they feel so bloated and and toxic and then they don't want to take their clothes off and you know in front of anybody and they definitely don't feel sexy and, and a man doesn't feel sexy after he eats a, a large meal all the blood is going to the stomach instead of you know where it could be going but but also it's just you don't feel good yeah, and the food too that we eat definitely doesn't yeah. help with that no um, it it really takes a self-aware person and maybe a, a professional natural doctor to help us learn what the body considers fuel so it will process and move through and what the body actually considers toxic and has a inflammatory response mm. okay so the intestines inflame you don't digest well the food stays stuck it doesn't all move through people think the food is moving through if they have a lot of water that passes but that's not actually the solid matter so the solid matter gets stuck in small intestine day after day week after week until we become quite toxic okay um, and then it cannot pass through the large intestine because now we are too stuck with bacteria fungus parasites because it makes a friendly environment for these unfriendly entities yeah. okay and I'm hearing that parasite then from Montaxia is is he saying that it's it's actually not controlling our brain in some ways You want to hear about this? As I got to tell you, I have done a lot of research on this and you can argue with me, but my research has shown that there are things that live in our bodies, okay? And they need sometimes certain food, like what you put in your mouth to eat, like a, a parasite that would live in your intestines, okay? Uh, or a fungus like candida. Candida would love it if you would please eat some sugar. Oh, that's food. But there are these other parasites. And they're very small and they can live in the blood. They can live in your organs. And they eat vibration. They eat energy. Mm. Okay? And if your nasty little parasite needs you to have anger so it can eat. And you work on yourself and don't have anger... You starve it. And what Master Chia was referring to is how it will fight for its life. And because it's been with you for a while, it will shift its energy, probably affecting the liver to overheat and cause anger to happen for us. It affects the mind. It affects what you see, what you think is real, so that you can get angry and it can have lunch now. Now, this may sound crazy, but I've been watching this for years. And I think you might have met our friend Krista out here. Mm -hmm. She helps to invite these parasites or whatever you want to call them because they're so small, you know. They're almost like little viruses. We just don't really know where they come from, okay. But she helps to invite them out. And my experience is if you have a parasite that feeds on the emotion of anger... The only way to get rid of it is to calm down, not be angry, be kind, and gently invite it to go somewhere else. What's interesting, Serena, is I just done a colonic here at the Tao Garden. And I feel really good and free. And this is the first time I do this. But I'm amazed. I was a little bit angry before. You know, honestly, I had a day. You know, a lot of stuff come up here. Of course, I mean, we're here to work on ourselves. And I found myself totally in a different vibe before and after. And that was not easy. That's not the kind of stuff. I mean, it's not easy to have one of those tubes in your <laughs> anus and through, you know, and just pumping it. And you have to release and not. Really. But what 
my mind feels free when my stomach is you know and empty and it just cleansed this this is to me just wow okay now this one what happened with you uh just based on uh what you've told me I'm going to say that this wasn't a parasitic situation. And frankly, I've touched your belly. I don't think we're dealing with a parasitic situation. This was different. Lilu, I think you're dealing, this was just toxic. Now, now let me, let, let's talk about Chine Song for a second here. And this relationship between the colonic, the anger, and the liver. Let's just say you're large intestine had too much old food that you had not processed mm -hmm. that is very toxic okay these toxins a little bit of them go into the bloodstream constantly maybe you even had some of the small intestine so it's really going directly into the blood well what organ filters your blood yeah. do you know no, but you just said liver earlier. So you're right. <laughs> That's the function. Oh my goodness, we we have to start from the beginning here apparently. <laughs> yes, that is the function of the liver, yeah. is to clean and store blood. Okay? So you get a huge amount of poison out of your body. And all of a sudden, the liver, you know, it doesn't take very long. Half an hour, maybe. And all of a sudden, because your liver doesn't have to work so hard to clean your blood you just don't feel so angry this is proof that what we're doing here works do we just needed to support the liver a little bit and now you have you still have the same things you were dealing with earlier today we're still crazy Dow garden but now it's funny yeah. Now it's entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the same person, yeah. but what you don't have is the same level of toxicity. Yeah. And, and I'm not attached to the bad thing or to what the mind is running. I mean, actually, my mind is running uh, much slower. I'm just processing it totally differently. Yeah. I feel light. Yeah. Vibe. The vibe is light. In the Tao, nobody's going to tell you how to feel. Nobody. Uh, we, we rarely even listen to your story. It's just all about the energy. Yeah. So... If I had run into you and, you know, I was in teacher mode and I saw Miss Lilu being very angry, the first thing I would say is smile to your liver yeah. and maybe you should get a Chine song. Let's see, you know, if you're carrying too much poison. So is there exercises we can do, yeah. you're saying, by if we're constipated or if we just wanted to let it flow? Because all of us really, I mean, this conversation is for all of us, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I do meet... More and more people now are understanding what foods the body likes and how you recognize that. If you eat, it should induce peristaltic action within an hour to remove the food from the previous meal. Okay? And you should have this food out of your system. Uh, to be really generous, I'd say six to eight hours. Now, some people, they only use the toilet once a day. I guarantee you... 15 hours after they use the toilet, they are toxic again. They don't feel the same if they use the toilet in the morning. They don't feel the same at 10 o'clock that night. There's no way. Yeah, true. Okay? Mm -hmm. You feel maybe more bloated, definitely not as alert as you did in the morning. Okay? When you were clean. So, um... This is part of uh, the constipation cure that I, I teach these three techniques. And this one is really big. I want to invite everybody, if you don't know the shape of your large intestine, look it up. Know it. See it in your mind and project that onto yourself. So because we're here in this scenario and we have students walking around, I'm not going to open up my shirt and show you my belly or anything like that. Um... But follow along if you can. So on me, my ascending colon goes from my right hip up to my, the, my rib cage on the right side. Then we have transverse. It makes like a smiley face from the right to the left, transverse colon. Then we go down the descending colon to the left hip bone, straight into the navel, down and out. So the self-massage technique, I'll do it with one hand, put my shirt down like this, would look like this, smiling and breathing. 
up the ascending colon, but push. Feel the intestine in there. With your fingers, you're like this. Um, I actually like to go like this. Mm. I don't know. Can we see that? Yeah. Just that Make perfect. a hook. Make a hook. Okay. So I can get in there. And then I'll use my other hand, actually, for pressure. If you don't put pressure, uh, it doesn't really induce the peristaltic action. Like, you know, a snake moves. That's peristaltic action. One muscle at a time. If you don't press on it, you don't break up the stuck food, you don't move the food, and you don't induce the peristaltic action. Okay, enough on that now. Let's just try it. Okay, so we got our little hook, and I'm going to put some pressure here, and I'm going to bring my hand up the ascending colon to my rib cage. I'm going to smile, I'm going to bring it across the transverse, then back up to the rib cage where it connects. Down the descending colon, pressing, 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 down the descending colon to the hip bone only. Then straight across and into the navel. And really get in there because food gets stuck where the intestine bends here. And then push down and all the way out down to the pubic bone. And you can do this over and over and over again. Some oil that doesn't have chemicals in it. Okay, I like to do this in the morning. And yeah, I was going to say when, yeah. Do it in the morning on an empty stomach. Another little trick for that one. Before you eat solid food, drink a big glass of purified water with lemon in it. And make it warm if, if, if you can. Warm or hot water. Do your massage and wait. Wait until the intestines empty before you eat. Now, if you're very constipated, you might be waiting for three days. So for those of you who are very, very constipated, of course you should eat. But you need don't to know... you have one of those little things too? Don't you, don't you have on your website something that helps too? I would recommend for those of you who really deal with constipation or have a child that deals with constipation, because at the end of this video, we actually have kids, little kids, working on each other. Hey, kids get tummy aches, you know? Uh, they get... They eat a hamburger or a hot dog or candy, and it feels bad. <laughs> so they should learn how to do self-massage or massage each other. We had a brother and sister on the video called the constipation cure. Now, one of the techniques you're going to see in the constipation cure is something I just called the wave. Okay, um, It's also our cat paws, which I've talked about in other interviews. And then we have a very special vibration technique. You can see it. And then, of course, our portion for children. You just upload a video. You can have it forever. Watch it with a friend or your husband or wife so you can work on each other or work on yourself. But... I got to tell you, I mean, for, I think that a colonic is good in some situations, like Master Chia. How often? A colonic? It depends on who you are. Yeah. I mean, we have people out here, with, if you don't mind me saying, that are really sick, Lilu. I mean, cancer and these terrible autoimmune disorders. When you're really, really sick, you don't want to wait around and do your massage, and then, you know, it takes a week, and then all of a sudden, you know, things really start moving. When you're really, really sick, we just do everything for you, okay? So, of course, we're going to start them out with a series of colonics. Not, we're going to get parasites out. We're going to get the eggs of the parasites out. Oh, yeah. We're going to get fungus out. But what's really interesting about a colonic is that when you clean out the large intestine, it signals the small intestine mm -hmm. that you can release more now mm. because we're holding you know, undigested food that actually in the small intestine, it looks like black rubber. Mm. And, it, and it coats the lining of the small intestine. So you can't absorb your nutrition. Yeah. Your body will never tell you you're done eating yeah. because it didn't get enough nutrition. This is a little question, but <laughs> what color should the poop be? Well, what color was your meal? <laughs> Seriously, if your uh, feces comes out dark, really dark, You need to call somebody who, who knows what they're doing and, and have yourself checked, to be honest. If you find blood in it or if it's black or extremely dark brown on a regular basis, that is a sign that you are very, very toxic and maybe beyond what a little bit of self-massage is going to take care of, okay? You got to be careful. Um, but no, I mean, we, remember that what we eliminate is waste, So if you're a person who eats a lot of vegetable, 
you st you're still probably going to have a fair amount of brown color um, in your fecal matter. What you're really looking for, though, uh, this is so gross, sorry, but you're looking for um, solid bowel movements. Mm -hmm. You can actually feel the emptiness, you know, it's instead of like little rabbit pellets or diarrhea with, you know, undigested food, bad. Undigested food is bad. That's a problem. It needs to be, you should probably talk to somebody about that, mm -hmm. okay? Well, that's a big deal if you're not digesting. Yeah. Um, so that's bad. You know, any extreme colors, but don't forget beets. <laughs> beets will make you think you're bleeding. Beetroot? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll make you think you're bleeding. Mm. Just but very healthy. Very healthy. I mean, as long after you get over the shock. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I ate beets. I'm not dying. Okay, fine. Yeah. But you can expect, you know, even if you eat a lot of vegetables, it's still, you know, a brown color. And chew your food. Well, you know, our, our Ayurvedic friends really brought that to the table. And now, our you know, the Tao also acknowledges that uh, it's best if program your food, first of all. Thank you for my food universe. And I, thank you for giving me all the nutrition that I need to be healthy and happy and strong. Mm -hmm. So you send the energy down. Yeah, and then chew. Because saliva, yeah, that's a whole other video, but... Yeah, well, that's the first line of digestion, is to break down the food, add saliva. So when we're, you know, eating these, like, swallowing like pills, these big amounts of food, the first round of digestion doesn't happen. Now you have this big piece of something solid in the second round of digestion, which is your stomach, and... It just can't break it all down sometimes. It's too much. It's not what it was built for. So then solid food goes into the small intestine and, it, it, you know, it just becomes inflammatory and it becomes really hard to move. For more questions, just yeah. go and ask yeah. Serena. <laughs> Thank you so much, Serena. Thank you for this video. <laughs> You're welcome. It got a little technical, but, yeah, you know. We got to. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for being technical and practical. We love you. Big big kisses, my delicious co-creators. Much love from the Tao Garden. Bye.